Hi, William Stewart here, uh, speaking to you from Arlington, Virginia. I'm attending the American Society of Interventional Pain Physicians National Meeting. Uh, I'm really enjoying the topics and discussions and meeting colleagues here. Uh, it's been a very rewarding first day. Um, just attended a lecture by Dr. Uh, Salim Hayek. The subject was optimizing outcomes with intrathecal drug therapy. And he presented some issues that I had not uh, reviewed or have not reviewed as closely. And some of the key issues about optimizing outcomes with intraspinal infusions is taking a look at patient selection, both uh, patient selections based on uh, condition of cancer or non-cancer pain, as well as psychological and psycho and social evaluations of the uh, patients to ensure that you have uh, good outcomes with implantable drug therapies. Um, he then kind of reviewed some of the subjects of dose escalation associated with age, which I found very interesting. And there was a couple of studies done where they demonstrated that uh, first with the rats uh, is that they found tolerance development with uh, opioids to develop quicker in young rats than older rats. A subsequent study also showed with uh, humans that uh, based on the age and the development of tolerance to opioids. And uh, it was again reaffirmed that young uh, age uh, patients, uh, patients of young age will develop tolerance quicker than those of older age. Um, and then he followed up with finally a dose escalation secondary to uh, concomitant therapy with bupivacaine and morphine intraspinally. He spoke of the new polyanalgesic consensus guidelines soon to be published regarding their algorithm of treatment regimens of intraspinal drug therapies. And he was happy to report that now, along with morphine or hydromorphone and zaconitide, there's also a first-line therapy of morphine and bupivacaine. Dr. Hayek also presented a study of his indicating dose escalations of opioids in patients with just opioid and then as well with opioids and bupivacaine. He showed a decrease in dose escalations of patients treated with morphine and bupivacaine over time and then coupled this with dose escalation reductions with age, um, both in young as in with old. And he considers the morphine and bupivacaine to be an optimal treatment combination. This is William Stewart from Arlington, Virginia. Thank you for letting me speak to you.